Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to our pilot course. So, it's me Top Angel and uh, in this video I'll be talking about how to write your first pilot program successfully. And of course like uh, some of the people has mentioned that uh, you need an internet connection to run this pilot program. Of course we don't need this internet connection and I'll be demonstrating how to do this in this video. So first thing is you have to know what this pilot is. So for that uh, pilot is just a module developed by a leap learner and basically this module is based on GUI that means graphical user interface. And with this pilot what we can do is we can create some simple animation and at the same time we can also create some simple game but uh, these things are not that why i'm learning this pilot because uh, gui is there in pilot so but the very important thing is with this pilot model the learning of python becomes interesting so to begin with uh, if i give you tips on writing your first pilot program so first and foremost is you have to know a pilot code structure so there are around three to four lines of code that you have to run successfully. So for this pilot course, I'll be using Python ideally. And if you have not installed this Python ideally, then you should watch my videos on how to install Python and pilot. Now, let me open my Python ideally. So you just need to go to search button and then type ideally and click on open. So as soon as when you open this Python ideally, the what you see is a shell. So basically we are not going to use this, instead we are going to use a text editor of this ideally. So for that you need to click on file and then click on new file. And this is a, a text editor where we are going to write our pilot program. From here the first line of code should be importing your pilot module. So for that you have to write from pilot import star. So what this really means I have a pilot and from there I'm going to import all the methods that is there inside a pilot. So that's why we use star to import all the method. So from pilot import star and and the very important thing is you need to write one function. So you can name any function here. Let me give this as a draw and you can pass one parameter here. So I'm passing dt. I'm not going to write any statement as of now because I want to make sure that my pilot code structure runs without any error. So I will just write pass and then the next line of code should be repeat and you should be repeating your function. That means I have a draw here. So I'll copy this and paste it here. That means you have to pass your function name here. And then the last line of code should be run. So this four line of code should be there to run your pilot program successfully so before i run this program let me like disconnect from internet i'm putting off my wi-fi and now you see that i'm disconnected and and before running my pilot program i want to save you have to save this file so i'm going to save this and i want to save inside my desktop folder pilot so let me name this as a test and click save. Now you should see this test program inside the pilot lesson. So that means there is a one test. So now I'm going, once you have saved this program, now you can run the program. So for that, you need to go to the run or you can also press F5 and then click on run. I received so many, like uh, so many lines of error. This line of error is because you are not connected to network so now what you need is so if i go and check inside my folder you can see that there is a one download folder automatically created as soon as you run your program there will be one configuration file and at the same time there should be also one pilot fav icon so this fav icon is missing and that's why you are getting this error so for that what you need is so whenever you are running your pilot program, the first thing is you need to connect it for the internet for the first time and later on it will work without an internet connection. So for that I will connect again. Now I am connected so let me run my program again. Let me delete this. 
Now you see that I did not got any error. This is because as soon as when I run my program, Inside my download folder, I have one fav icon and at the same time, I have one configuration file. Whenever you're running the PyLib program, you should have this download folder automatically created. And inside this download folder, there should be one fav icon at the same time, one configuration file. Now, now let me disable this internet. I have disabled my internet. And now let me again run this program without internet connection. So now even when I'm not connected to the internet, now you see that I don't get any error. Instead, my program runs successfully. This is because, because you see that I already have one download folder here. That means I have one configuration file and at the same time I have a config fav icon. So that means even if you don't have internet connections and as, as far as you have this download folder containing these two files, that means you are good to go without any internet connection. That's why I was able to run my program without internet connections. So the idea here is like, if your desktop don't have internet connection, you need to have this download folder. That means you can take this download folder like in a pen drive and put it inside another desktop, which does not have internet connection. So you can paste it there in the same directory where you have saved your file then that means it will work fine. Only thing is you need this download folder if you don't have internet connection. So basically I hope I solved this problem like uh, where you don't need internet connection to run your PyLib program. Now, the second important thing is, so what I have did is I have saved this file as a test. That means I don't get any error. So let me write again another program here, open new file, so from pylip and run so now let me save this file again and i'm saving inside the same folders so the common mistake that people are making here is they are naming their file as pylip this one is the mistake that people make while writing their program so you should not save your file name as a pylip because it contradicts with its own model because we already have installed this pylib model so you should not save this file as a pylib so let me save this for timing and let me show you some error so now once again i'm running my test file so let me run this and you see that now i get an error this is because i've even saved one file that is named as pylib the very important thing is you have to avoid naming your file as a pylib to successfully execute your program. So I'm deleting this. And now if I open, like if I open my program and run again, you should not see any error. This is because I have removed a file named as pylib. So as a beginner, what you should know is you should avoid giving your file name as a pylib that is very very important and at the same time when you are running your pylib program you should have this download folder containing this fav icon and one configuration file that's all for this video and from here i'll be talking about all the methods that are available inside the pylib we'll see you in the next